In some cases, my, people might be wondering why it's only five minutes in and the police is already here. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have to work with that. But my name is Thor Rinkvarsson, and I serve as a detective inspector for the Reykjavik Metropolitan Police. And, uh, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about social policing and what that means for us. But I've been a police officer for 14 years now, and uh, I sometimes kind of wonder why people bother listening to me, because I, I sometimes feel that I just graduated. But, but time has been moving so very, very quickly, because I really, really love what I do. And uh, I think it has to do with the fact that policing revolves around people. It revolves around everything that people do, how they communicate, what they do, how they do it and especially the communication part, and that's what I really love about policing. And uh, I, was, I had a group of young students the other day visiting the police station, and, uh, and I was telling them what I do and, and what we're doing on, on social media, and, and one of them kind of mumbling said, that's a sweet job, and I, I think he's true, because I actually get paid to spend my time on Facebook and do my police work from there. So it doesn't really sound like a job, does it? But the police is a 200-year-old institution, and it was founded in 1803 when two police officers were hired for the then town of Reykjavik. And we might have gotten off to a bit, bit of a bad start because they were later fired for being constantly drunk on the job. <laughs> so you could say they were a tad too social. But it is sometimes forgotten that the police is one of the very foundations of the state itself, seeing that keeping its inhabitants safe is one of the defining factors of, of, uh, of if it even qualifies as a state. But over the years, the, the police has been getting better at what it does. And even though we got off to a, a bit, bit of a bad start and were perhaps too social, but uh, the police has been getting better and crime has been decreasing and that's a Western trend also seen in Iceland. And we, we want the police to be different things, and that's, that's sort of what we're seeing now. We want, we want the police to be different things. We sometimes get a notion that uh, we want to be able to talk to the police, we want the police to be there, we want to be able to communicate with the police. But we also want the police to be tough on crime, and especially other people's crimes. That's, that's that what we really want. But it is sometimes a little bit hard uh, getting all these things to work together, to, to, to uh, create uh, an environment where people are actually happy with the police. And that's where I think social media fits in. And since 2010, the Reykjavik Metropolitan Police has had a strong presence on social media. Well, using, you guessed it, Facebook, amongst other social media outlets. And since 2010, over 50,000 people have subscribed to its services. And at this point, we're seeing that the police is getting over 300 private messages sent to the police every week, uh, every month, sorry. And those messages contain just about everything from tips to crime, uh, to questions and all sorts of things that people want to ask the police. And now we're seeing that over 200,000 people on a weekly basis are getting the information that the Reykjavik police is sending out through social media. And that part really has me stumped, remembering that we have only 200,000 people living in the area that we serve, and about 320,000 people living in the country as a whole. But to give you some indication of what, what we're doing on social media, this picture you see here now gives, gives a small example. You see the, the friendly officer walking with the ducklings and, and uh, guy, guarding them over the street. And we know that about 13 people witnessed this incident and probably a few more saw the picture as a result. But in this picture, which we posted on Facebook in 2013, we know that over 27,000 people saw this picture. And that gives you a little bit of an example into how many more we can get our messages across to. And that's extremely important. But why do people want to be friends with the police on Facebook? And why would they want to receive all these things that the police is sending out? Well, I, I think it has to do with two major things. First of all, I think pe most people realize that policing is not just the police's job. It is a matter for us all. 
It is what all communities do. It is something we, that we all do all day. We like to keep our community safe. And that's why people love having the police there, being able to have that conversation in real time with the police. But I also think it has to do with the manner that we're sending out our messages. And using humor has always been a strong part in, in how we get our messages across. And I sometimes think of the, the words of the philosopher Poppins, who said that a teaspoon of sugar makes the medicine go down. And by using humor in the way that we put out our posts is very, very important and increases it dramatically how many people can actually see the posts and want to see the posts. But as a result, what, what has been happening is that more people are watching what the police is doing, and I think that's very, very important. Why is it working? Well, I think it's working because feeling safe and being safe are not the same thing. There is a difference in these matters, and I think it's very important that we create a community or some sort of canal where people can actually converse with the police. And it's not just a feeling that tells us it's working. Because last year, over 47% of the people who did contact the police did so using our social media sites. And if we think about that for a minute, what does that tell us? It tells us that more people use Facebook to contact the police than do so using the website, the email, or the telephone. And the police has been using social media for about three years. And I think having that conversation with the public is extremely important, and that is what policing is all about. So I thank you all for this time. Thank you.